Thank you. I am the very, very lucky last. Um, I, um, I practice this in the car on the way home, here with my parents and my boyfriend, so hopefully it sounds as good as it did in the car. <laughs> um, so this is an installation shot of uh, my master's um, exhibition, which was called uh, Lost Art of Being Human, Rite of Passage. Um, I developed three sculptural works in conjunction with my family and friends um, that symbolise the three different stages of a rite of passage, which is separation, transition, and cooperation. Uh, I was questioning um, the role of what a rite of passage could represent within a contemporary Western culture. This is a cubby, it's called the Cubby Cave. I built this primarily with my cousin and my father on the um, property <coughs> that I grew up on, uh, using found objects and materials. Um, this symbolises the separation phase of a um, rite of passage. This is a, a raft, which is a metaphorical, a metaphoric um, vessel for transition, um, and it's um, made out of uh, tires, um, doors, tents, uh, and it was also shot on the on the family property. Uh, the last of the of the um, the idea of a rite of passage is the incorporation, which and this is the called the return threshold. Um, so symbolic of a, a portal um, when when um, on in the last stage of this. Um, these are uh, this is a work I produced or I, I did in New York. Um, it's called Sun Moon Walk. Uh, I started on the roof of my apartment in Brooklyn in Bed Stuy, and uh, I did a 24-hour walk where I followed the sun during the day and uh, I followed the moon. Um, back to my apartment, um, ending the following sun sunrise. Um, this work was shown at the um, at Art Space last year for the 2017 Emerging Fellowship. Um, the its display. I also um, included um, work from my studio in New York. Um, interventions. Um, that I developed there in, at the same time as these works, and so I saw them as a, as the same body of work. Uh, I wasn't interested in representing a, a linear um, idea of time, um, so I felt that these interventions broke that. Um, yeah. Um, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Next slide. Uh, I, I've done really good documentation for this exhibition. Um, this is another image here, which is part of the day shoot. Um, and with the performance work, it's often hard. I, I mean, it wasn't overly stylized, so I was sort of quite. Um, um, my, my choice of images that showed that represented the work um, was was not huge to choose from. This was one of the floor works that I made in New York that I included in the, in the uh, installation at Art Space. Uh, it's a floor excavation. Uh, I sanded the floor by hand, um, creating little um, little sites of archaeology. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, archaeology. Um, this is another site intervention. Um, um, mm. um, the work that I'm going to show next is from a, a current body of work, which I'm showing at uh, Newcastle Art Gallery. Uh, it's to do with, it's in relation to um, the 1818 project. And so I was asked as a part of eight artists to respond to three of the gallery's um, paintings um, of Joseph Loisette. Um, I created an installation which I called a Showroom 2018 using scaffolding, um, printed shade cloth, uh, digital, uh, a digital rendering animation of uh, an island. Um, fictional um, and forged rocks, and a bronze plaque that I produced in collaboration with friend and curator Belinda Howden. Um, I was responding to um, the relationship between landscape painting and colonisation, um, the how these paintings were uh, a naturalised a, a form of naturalisation of. Um, colonial presence and um, and pr producing this work 
um, in this research. Um, Lysette was a forger and he um, was brought to Australia for that. Uh, and so I was originally wanting to install rocks in the exhibition, but to take a rock um, from the, there's, oh, sorry, there's an island in the, in the picture called Nobby's Island um, in one of his uh, paintings. And I looked, the island doesn't exist anymore because of a man-made um, land bridge. And so I was looking at the, the gap between the island and the mainland, um, metaphorically representing this um, um, influence or um, of colonial presence. Um, this is a digital rendering of the of the island of Nobby's. Um, I also included, sorry, in the installation is a claw glass. Um, uh, for those who are not familiar, oh, I will forget that. Uh, I'm heading to Iceland tomorrow. Um, I've, I've been to Iceland before and I worked uh, as an artist in resident with Lunga School. Um, there's 12 students and I, these are, are films that I, I shot six films in collaboration with the 12 students and I'm still developing these films. Um, I, this, this work came from reading a book by David Abrahams um, called Spell of the Sensuous and I took a rock from a glacier and I spent three months trying to figure out how to get it back to the glacier um, because I just felt so bad and so I started questioning this act of, of taking and what that meant. Um, I'm also going to New York for two months um, uh, after Iceland and my aim is to get to Biosphere 2 um, which is in Arizona um, and that's uh, run by Arizona University. Um, and I want to re this is a this and I want to research um, a um, continue my research in, in the relationship between men and nature or humans and nature and keep a, I have an idea of making a um, a wearable um, greenhouse so I want to um, keep researching that. Um, <laughs>